Jump Cloud Directory as a service is a great service that I've been playing around for a long time, mostly uh, using uh, their radio servers. Now, this is the first time that I'm configuring an LDAP server, so let's configure it on our 40 gate. All right, so let's start configuring our Jump Cloud LDAP servers. Move to Users and Authentication LDAP servers. I have already uh, set my server, so let's just walk and look at the different fields which are relevant. Name your server whatever you wish to. The domain is ldap.jumpcloud.com. They're not releasing their IP address, so use that domain. The port is 636, so be sure to check out Secure Connection LDAPs. The common name identifier is UID, it's not CN, so use UID. And you will need two more things. You will need the um, unique ID of your organization, which we will very soon see where to look for it. And you will also need the DN, the distinguished name of one of the users. So let's move to our Jump Cloud server. All right, and here on your LDAP page, you can find the unique ID of your organization up until here. And for the users, just check out one of the users that you wish to bind and copy their distinguished name. Moving back to our 40 gate, the bind type is regular. That's the place where you will enter one of your users' DN. Don't forget to enter their password. And that's the place following this string. That's the place where you will enter your organization unique ID. All right, so you can test connectivity. And once it is successful, you can move to user groups. Let's create a new user group. Let's name our user groups admins1. And they will actually come from the remote group. So let's add up our remote server. All right, now let's choose our group. Currently I have only one group. Right click on that group, add selected. All right, now you've selected the user group and let's click OK. All right, now let's move to System, Administrator, and create new administrator that will actually take its credentials from the remote group. Let's name our administrators admin1. Now you can match a single user or you can match all users on the remote server group. Let's match all users and the administrator profile will be professional admin. You can play around with the different read and write permissions for the different admins. And the remote user group is admin1. And now you have a new user that is associated with your JumpCloud LDAP server.